Tuffery. Let's abuse this patrol. Oh shit. Ollie, what's this, Ollie? This is Mario Mushroom. So the $3,000 patrol is out of hibernation. The main reason for us not driving the thing around was because the wheel bearing fix that we did a while ago didn't fix the car permanently. So to prepare for the trip, we decided to attempt to fix the problem again. So here's us mucking around only to find out that that small fix was gonna be a lot more difficult than we thought. A lot of you guys had some really helpful suggestions in the previous video that we made on this thing. And you guys all said to upgrade the lockers, the, the, the bearing lockers or whatever you call them. Do you know what you call them? To upgrade them to GU patrol. So that's what we've done. I've got uh, some GU blockers for both the front wheels. And today we're gonna to install them and hopefully we can get rid of that wheel wobble. <laughs> This is some exciting news that you guys are not gonna wanna miss out on. You guys have the opportunity to win a 26 inch tool set with all the tools that you need in order to work on your project cars at home, thanks to Chicane. Chicane and I are doing a collaborative giveaway. We're gonna be giving away one of these sets to one of you lucky guys. We have it just here, unboxed, still in the packaging as you can see, ready for one of your garages. The prize will include the exact same kit that I have, including every single tool. So you got your sockets, you have your Allen keys, your screwdrivers, your spanners, even some ratcheting wrenches as well, which is awesome. A few little other socket to Allen key bits. The way that you can win this tool set is by heading over to Instagram and liking this post that's on my Instagram and also heading over to Chicane and following them. You have to be following Chicane in order to win this set. And this giveaway is open to anybody in Australia. And if you live in Victoria and you win this set, I will personally deliver it to you at an Autobahn store. One of you lucky guys are gonna win this set. I can't wait to give this away. I'm lucky of course to have this bottom portion which you can also pick up from Autobahn. Entry is closed, Monday 5th. Good luck to everyone. Super excited for any of you guys to have this set. Why is it so warm, Peter? It's supposed to be freaking winter right now. Yep. Yep. Bankyspec.com, guys. Get yourself some of these shop gloves. I've used these on like three projects already. And look, they're mint. Get out of there, you dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it the eight? Hey. Boom. Yeah. There's like a washer right here, you can kind of see it. Can you see that? Oh, a washer there? Right? Hey, hey. Hey. There's a way that you can use these as like a locking washer. I, I just, I don't really understand it. Um. Oh, so this is like the locking setup. That's how you like lock everything in place, but it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is, look, I've done the research. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but apparently this is what you do. So here are our GU lockers. These are basically the same thing as you saw down there, except look, there are holes. Wow, holes. So one of these goes on the bearing to lock it up and another one goes on the back of that. And what you do to lock it in place is there's actually screws that go into the washer themselves and that's gonna hold it, the washer to the other washer. That might actually be different threads. Is it the same as that knot? Oh, looks similar. Unfortunately, those parts don't actually fit at all. Even though on the website and the research that I've done says that you can do that. Um, the website literally says that these bearing lockers fit to every single GQ and GU. So yeah, doesn't work. That's okay. We're going to send this thing off road anyway, just to make sure that it's all good for the snow. <laughs> all right, guys, we are now in Bunyip. That's right, from the garage to Bunyip. We're here now with the patrol. We've got a few friends here. We've got Kaya and her patrol. We've got Lucas and his Rick. Look at that, look at that thing. Lucas! Huh? Look, Kay is already dropping tire pressures because she's she's gonna beat all of us. Her, her patrol's much cleaner than ours. We'll, we'll show you that in a second. Peter, there's a bug on you. Dude, Where? stay there, it's in your in your guns. Where? Right there, man. That's pretty scary. Where, hey, wait. buddy. Oh, it's a scary looking one. So unfortunately, we weren't able to fix that wheel bearing problem, um, but we've got it to a spot where it's still tight and it should be okay for the rest of today. Um, we're gonna have to keep checking the thing to make sure the wheel's not gonna fall off the car because I'm pretty sure if that thing comes all the way loose, then we're gonna have a problem. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's abuse this patrol. 
Time for eat. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? And it was actually designed by a tough rig owner over there. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. The, the bin sum, you win Ooh. some. <laughs> Get a closer with our Lucas. Nice and close. Hopefully oh, today, yeah. we're gonna win some, not bin some. Yeah. Oli, what's account? this, Oli? This is Mario mushroom make you jump higher. We'll, we'll feed it to the rig so it makes it over all the bumps. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go in. Oh, it's come up in your hands, bro. That's rank, dude. Oh, that's rank. <laughs> Time. I don't know if Lachlan did this last time he took it off already, but we've taken the stabilizer bar off. Um, there's a, just a little a lever right here, and that disconnects the wrist sway bar, and the car feels way better over bumps and everything. I'm shocked though, like, disconnecting that rear sway bar. Like, I'm not a four-wheel drive guy. I have no idea about all this stuff, but Kay was like, yeah, disconnected it. It feels way better. Awesome. And the 33s as well. Yeah, that's, I, last time we took it um, off-roading, we had 35-inch uh, muddies that were like basically bald that came with the car. Uh, since then, we've put on a set that we bought off Peter, actually, off his surf, and it feels really good. Yeah, works then. through the forest for Rexton. Very well done, Nissan Patrol number one car. Shampoo! Oh shit bro, are we gonna be able to get up there? Send it, just don't stop. Nah, no chance. No chance, no chance, no chance. Nah, don't even try. Well, we have to go up there, don't we? No, that's impossible as well. Well, the track is GG'd.
So we got this problem with the battery. Oh, Jesus. It keeps disconnecting. <laughs> oh, it's positive. Ah, oh, this piece of shit. Okay. We, we, like, we made it further than before. Which gives me some confidence, but nah. You should have seen when you grab second with the... <laughs> you could see the front dip yeah. and everything like... When you would grab... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you were going up the hill and you do a one-two, grab second really hard, the tyres would spin so fast so the dip is like whining like that AU that we destroyed. Yeah. And then when you'd let off, it looks like the body would like reconnect back <laughs> to the chassis. <laughs> like it was separating. It was Dude, so it, cool. was, it was crazy because like it was moving for a second and then it just sort of like... Well, slipped this is, up. This is our issue, right? If we yeah. had the same tyres as Kale, we would have a hope. Or if we had big 37s, because look up there. That's from really, really big four wheel drives destroying the road. Whereas us with our 33s, and they're just full of mud, it's essentially like having racing slicks on the back of your AU in the rain. We're gonna let Kay have a go. She's got better tyres than us. GG. Let's, let's move our rig out of the way. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'll move it. Alright, Kay is gonna have a go now. Absolute best. Right. Yeah. Kay, say that again. We're going to give it some beans and we're going to try our absolute best see how we go. More engine noise. Alright, let me get up there before you run me over. Rexton, that didn't sound good, my man. Woo. That sounded. Oh no! Do you think we broke it? We might have broke it. <laughs> the transfer case or the front diff? I don't know. <laughs> Oh shit! Alright, let's not try that, we'll just head back. Just try and move. Put in first, try and move. We're good. Oh, my shoe's stuck. Oh fuck, alright, we're going back. That was absolutely insane. You're a bit of a weapon beyond the wheel, eh? <laughs> yeah. When chicks can steer. Guys, we found the limits of the patrol. Yep. <laughs> eep, eep. Unfortunately, we didn't make it up. The tires are a limiting factor, I reckon, because Kaya, same sort of setup. She's got a fresh head rebuild and a new carby. I mean, that's not how she made it up, though. It was her tires. I think that, that made all the difference, right? Yeah, Kaya's got really, really aggressive mud terrain tires, mm. but they're really shit for on road. Mm. Whereas this car spends most of the time on road, so we use all trains. Yeah, and they're shit. <laughs> and they're shit. <laughs> but uh, this is what we couldn't couldn't do, guys. Full of mud. Peter's nice and dirty. Oh. Guys, <laughs> we're just making it back to like a camping ground or something, so we can toast some marshmallows uh, because we want to sort of enjoy the time uh, out here because we've basically spent the entire day trying to get this car out and Lucas's car out rather than actually enjoying the tracks. Um, we need to come back with some more upgrades. But yeah, I'm just, I'm more excited to just have some marshmallows. Create a fire. Spawn a fire. The carby definitely needs to get redone though. Fire out, this thing is like barely making it back. Came up to us at like 5:20, and they were like, "Yeah, we've locked the door 
up that way. So we're gonna go that way. We're gonna lock that other door and then come back and then you guys can leave with us. And they never came back. So it's like like six o'clock now. They said that there's gonna be shooting in the national park. State park, state forest. State forest, yeah. They said there was gonna be shooting in the state forest and they never came back to go get us. So yeah, we're on our way out now. It's pretty scary that there's people shooting guns while we're driving around, so. We've got an issue here with um, too many deer, so. Yeah, they're trying to control that and they start shooting at 6 at 6 p.m. and yep. yeah, it's 6 p.m. now and we're trying to escape. So Rex has gone to the bathroom and I've stolen the camera. We're out here in a restaurant right now having some barbecue Asian food. Very, very yum. But look at the state of what I look like. Have a look. Yum, yum. Slowly, slowly. K ah. <laughs> <laughs> O. Oh, you know what though? <laughs> it helps. Hands by your side. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, Frank didn't get off. <laughs> Dude, why is he on the, is he on the <laughs> ground, bro? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Okay, run. My stomach. Very well done, Nissan Patrol number one car. Shampoo!